former comrades, family and friends came to the Royal Garrison Church in Aldershot to pay their respects to Lance Corporal Matthew Smith. Seven soldiers who served alongside him in 26 Engineer Regiment formed up to carry his coffin inside and his family followed close behind. Inside the church, his father Ken, a full-time reservist himself, paid a moving tribute to his son. I simply ask you to live your life to the full, make the most of every opportunity, do not waste the sacrifice that Matt and all too many others have made. In paying that ultimate sacrifice, his life, cut cruelly short, has denied him the opportunity to see the fruits of his labour blossom by not seeing his four beautiful children grow up. 26-year-old Lance Corporal Smith was part of a team building a checkpoint in the Nadali district of Helmand province on the 10th of August when he was hit by a small arms fire. He was a cracking lad, um, family man, um, good soldier, really good soldier, enigmatic, lit up the room uh, and it, we'll, we'll miss him. You know, remember that we still have 550 men in Afghanistan who will be thinking of Matthew right now. You know, they're dis dis desperately disappointed about what's happened and the 300 guys back in Tidworth are obviously disappointed at what's happened. They're very sad. Lance Corporal Smith leaves behind his fiancée Laura and four young children, Lainey, Ella, Tilly and Jay. His family said they were pleased so many people were able to come. Wonderful turnout. Um, what can I say? Fantastic guy. Um, like you say, he was a legend, that's what he said. So, um, got a living family, close-knit family. Um, sadly missed, um, but never forgotten. Everyone who spoke about Matt described his warmth and strength of character. When his comrade and football coach, Major Tony Christie, read the eulogy in church, he said Matt saw the best in everything and dragged the rest of us into his sunny world. Rosie Layden, Forces News in Aldershot.